Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Delightful Kiss Boy, and yet again, I have a special video for you. Today, I am going to be going up against the dealer who has been made smarter through the power of modding. So, uh, there's like a mod loader that's been created that's pretty slick. Um, pretty sick, actually. I was pretty impressed with this. Um, and there is a mod created by ITR, and ITR has made a mod to make the dealer smarter. Uh, I haven't really looked much at the code to understand how it works, but it looks like it's kind of recursively going through a bunch of the different options that the dealer has and tries to maximize the amount of damage he's doing to you for the round. Um, not super familiar with how it works, but uh, we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, so thank you so much, ITR. Uh, I'm going to link a, uh, I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description as well as the video that will show you how to install the mod yourself. And I just want to say, uh, I'm putting this out there, I have installed the mod loader, but I've done it on a VM, a virtual machine. Um, I would recommend, like, the, the software looks good to me, you know, but I could be overlooking something. Always be cautious when downloading things off the internet. I would encourage you to put this on a VM that doesn't have any personal information on it, just in case there's some malware that somehow snuck its way in there. Uh, you know, you can never be too cautious, um, but, you know, be careful. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, without further ado, let's just jump into it, baby. Let's try to go up against this smarter dealer. All right. Now, what I want to do initially is I want to go into it as if it were the normal dealer. Basically, do what I would do against the normal dealer and see how much my shit gets pushed in by this supposedly more intelligent dealer. Uh, so let's just see how that goes. All right. So that's probably what I'll do for the first run. See how far we get. Um, if it gets cut really short, I might try it one more time, but we'll just see what happens here, baby. All right, please sign the waiver. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Who are we sending in? I think, uh, because for this run, I'm going to be acting as if I'm assuming that the AI is stupid. I'm going to send in Dumbo here. D-U-M-B-O. Dumbo! Going up against the smart dealer. Why did the music cut out? Okay, I'm assuming that's, a uh, glitch with the mod loader. Um, I've noticed a few little things with the mod loader, so uh, I'm assuming that I guess the music doesn't work. That's unfortunate, because I love the bopping soundtrack, but hey, we persevere. We persevere, we move on. I've got booze, I've got handsaw, and he's got magnifying glass and handsaw, and this is four health, and that is four and four. All right, so if I were playing against the normal dealer here, I would save my items for later when they benefit me more. Uh, and so I would just shoot into dealer and see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. We hit. Excellent. So it's now three and four. And now the dealer, the smart dealer is going to go. Let's see what he opts to do. There's three and four here. He's sawing it off immediately, which is interesting. You would think he would wait until he knows what the shell is before he saws it off. But hey, he saw a live one anyway. All right, ends up hitting us for two. Damn, I guess he just, he was very confident the next one was a live one or something. That's interesting. Yeah, usually, the I mean, you'd, you'd expect the dealer to look first to get information and then shoot. But, I mean, he hit me anyway. So it's now two and four, two and four. So what I would do here is there's no reason to use any items still. So I just shoot into dealer again. Hope for the best. And we miss. So it is now two and three. Let's see what the dealer does. Normally it would be a coin flip, but the dealer opts to shoot us. That's smart. And he hits us. All right. So we take another damage. Dumbo is at one. Smart dealer at three. It is now one and three remaining. And once again, I would see no reason to use any items yet. So I would just shoot into dealer again. And we miss. It's now one and two. Now this, if the dealer is smart, he should shoot us here. And he does. All right. So yeah, pretty smart guy. And he misses though. So now it's a 50-50. What I would do here is I would drink booze to ensure that we get to the next loadout alive. If we hit the blank, I get to shoot him back for two. So we're hoping to hit the blank here, but, you know, no way to know that. So I would eject one, and we eject the live one. So we end up going to the next loadout with us at one and the smart dealer at three. So not looking good for old Dumbo here. Um, and let's just see what happens. All right, we've got smokes, we've got booze, we've got handsaw, we've got handcuffs. And he's got handcuffs, two packs of smokes, and a handsaw. That's four and four again. All right. 
So what I would do here is there's no reason not to smoke, so I would just smoke here. Um, and then what I would normally do, I might handcuff here, but I would probably just shoot because I'd say, hey, the dealer is, you know, just as likely to shoot himself as he is us, so I could probably get better value out of the items later. So I would just opt to shoot into dealer here and see what happens, and we miss. So it's now four and three. He's probably going to smoke. Yep, no reason not to. And then let's see what he opts to do after that. So four and three, let's see what the smart dealer does. He saws it off immediately. So yeah, he's got better than average odds of hitting us here. He's going to handcuff us, and he's going to shoot us for two, presumably. Uh, which he does, yep. And we end up... He ends up missing, though. All right, good shit, good shit. So it is now uh, four and... Yeah, four and two now. Four and two. Now he's going to go again, and he'll probably shoot us here again. All right, smart. But he misses again. Damn, that's bad luck for the dealer. All right, so it is now four and one. So what I would do here is I would just cuff him, shoot twice using hand saws, hope to close out the uh, win here, because we have a um, one out of five chance of missing here, and then if we go again, we'll, we'll have a one out of four chance of missing. So we probably win here. So we hit... And now it's a one out of four chance that we miss. Three quarters chance that we win. Uh, let's just try to close out the round, baby. All right, saw it off, send it back. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Send it into dealer again. Excellent, excellent. So yeah, what I've noticed is the dealer, the smart dealer, looks like he almost always shoots me, which makes him substantially harder. Like, honestly, if you took the normal dealer... And instead of having a coin flip, you just made it so he shoots me every single time. He would be way harder. Hey, the music kicking back in. All right. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. So we had an awkward first round with no music. But now we get the music back. I'm going to see if it goes away again. But yeah, just by that simple change of making the dealer always shoot you, he's going to be substantially harder. So let's just keep going. All right. I got handsaw. I've got smokes. I've got handcuffs. I've got magnifying glass. And he's got handcuffs, handsaw. All right, we're two health here, and that is one and one. I think that is a guaranteed win, unfortunate for the dealer. Maybe not guaranteed win. Yeah, it is a guaranteed win. I just have to use a magnifying glass and go on. No amount of intelligence will prevent him from dying here because we always go first. And then we will go to the carryover round using my Dumbo Delightful Kiss Boy AI, where I'm assuming that the dealer is stupid. But we'll take that. We'll take that. We move on. Shoot the dealer. Boom, bitch. He is dead. Didn't even get a turn. We move on to the next loadout. I'm assuming the two health rounds against the smart dealer are going to be particularly lethal. Because he's just going to keep shooting at us. So we cannot bank on coin flips anymore, man. Alright, we are in round three here. Round three. But yeah, from when I glance at the code, it looks like it does some, you know, kind of recursive brute force expected value calculations. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I thought I saw. Uh, two magnifying glasses, three magnifying glasses. All right, that's decent. And that is a three health round right there. And that is three and four. So what I would do here is because I have no shot of killing him here and closing out the round is I would just shoot blindly here and hope to use magnifying glasses later to get better value like with a handsaw or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot into the dealer. I would do that because the dealer's is likely to shoot himself if he was the normal dealer. All right, he's drinking booze here. Now, I think I know why he's doing that. Because he puts himself on an odd number now. Smart man. I'll explain why that's good in a second here. All right, so he takes a shot at us. The reason that you want... So, if you're playing intelligently, you want to put yourself on an odd number. Now, think about this, right? Imagine that you have five shots. Okay, there's five bullets in the um, the gun, okay? And you don't have any items, and you're just playing against somebody who's smart, okay? If it's an odd number of shells, and I'm going, I shoot, he shoots, I shoot, he shoots, I shoot. I get one more shot on him. So making it so that you're on the odd uh, bullet is smart, because you'll get an extra shot, assuming both people are playing rationally where you just shoot each other over and over again. So I think using booze there was a pretty good idea on the uh, AI's behalf. It's interesting he didn't opt to go with handcuffs there when it was um, uh, 
three and three. So it's three and three and two now. Three and two. So I'm just going to shoot into dealer again. All right, and we miss. It is now three and one, I believe. So I'm assuming he's going to. What is he doing? He's just going to shoot us without uh, sawing it off. Interesting. Interesting choice. He had pretty good odds of hitting us there if he used the handsaw. But maybe he assumes that it doesn't matter because we're at two health and we wouldn't die anyway. I'm not sure. All right, it's now uh, two and one. Two and one. Um, I'm just going to shoot into dealer again. And uh, we go to the 50-50. So, I mean, it's not a 50-50. He's going to get at least one on us. But there isn't much I could do about that. He's going to cuff us. Well, so he's going for the handsaw. I'm assuming he's going to cuff here. He's not cuffing. That's interesting. Um, and we just die. All right. Maybe I miscounted there, but that's interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, as you can see, the dealer is substantially smarter than he used to be. Uh, he is much more lethal. And so this time, this time I want to go into it trying to play around what I am going to assume is optimal play from the dealer rather than just assuming he's stupid. So let's give it another whirl here. Um, I'll do at least one more run here, and I'll actually try to beat the smart dealer by predicting what he's going to do. I still have a few questions about what he's doing because some of his some of his moves seem a little bit strange to me, like using the handsaw before looking in the magnifying glass. I don't really see any reason to do that, but I guess if he's decided that even if he sees a blank, he's going to shoot at us with the handsaw anyway, I, I guess... You can just saw it off beforehand. Anyway, we're going to send in, uh, let's just send in Kissy, all right? That's me. I'm Delightful Kiss Boy, Kissy. All right, let's see if I can, uh, how far I can get when I'm actually trying to play against what I'm assuming is a smarter dealer. Yeah, it's, uh, so every round one, the music cuts out. I don't know why that is, but must have to do with the mods. All right, I got uh, Magnifying Glass and Smokes. He's got Smokes and Booze. That is three health right there, and that is one and one. All right. So here, I will use the magnifying glass um, just to get a guaranteed one on him. So we're going to shoot him. He's going to be able to smoke back up to three again, which is unfortunate. I wish I saw the uh, blank there, but uh, not much you can do about that. So he goes back down to two. He's going to smoke here, assumedly, and then keep the booze and then shoot either us or himself. It doesn't really matter because it's going to go to the next loadout anyway. So he goes back up to three, and then he shoots... Us. Yep. Doesn't matter. Now, the regular dealer, he would always shoot himself there because he knows what the last shell is. But this dealer just is like, it doesn't matter. I'll do either one. I don't give a shit. All right, we got our magnifying glass back. He's got a handsaw. And that is two and three right there. Two and three. So, I could use magnifying glass here, but more likely than not, we'll see a blank. Uh, and I think I can get better value out of it later. Uh, so, I'm just going to aim at a dealer and shoot. Hope for the best. And we miss. So, it's now two and two. He might drink booze here. Yep. Pretty good call there. It's now one and two. He's going to saw it off. Now, that's interesting. I would wait to use the hands. Oh, I think I know why. Okay, I'll tell you in a sec. He's going to shoot at us. All right, he hits us for two anyway. Damn. All right. Uh, okay, the reason... I think what is happening, right? I think what's happening here is I think the dealer is assuming that he's not going to make it to the next round. So, I think I think the dealer is like... Okay, if I don't use the handsaw here, I probably don't get another turn. So I may as well use the handsaw here. He's not thinking about it in, from like in terms of like round to round to round. He's trying to maximize his damage for this round in particular. So even though he's like, okay, well, I have a, you know only a one out of three chance of hitting for two here. He's only thinking about this round. And it's like, I might as well use the handsaw to try to get extra damage. And it ended up paying off there. So, and that, that isn't actually a dumb heuristic. The reason being is that we always get to go first. So there's always the possibility the dealer will never get to go again. So using handsaw there, I, can, I think that's actually reasonable for the dealer. For us, I would never take that shot because I know, I, you know I'm most likely going to miss and I can carry it over into the next loadout and potentially get better value out of it later. But for the dealer to do that, totally fine. Anyway, the, the remaining two were blanks. And uh, let's see what we get here. All right, we've got uh, booze, we've got handcuffs, we've got booze. All right, and the dealer's got two packs of smokes and a magnifying glass, and that is two and three again. All right, two and three again. Um, I mean, I could prevent the dealer from ever going, but I think that... Um, let me think here. So he, he would just smoke back up 
assumedly, and then we would waste all of our items. Um, if I shoot, it goes to him. He uses the magnifying glass, potentially, and then... Well, we're on the odd number. I think I don't need to do anything here yet. So I'm going to opt to hold on to my items here. All right, we shoot, we hit. There's now one and three. I'm curious to see what he does here. Because he's on the even number right now. So I wonder if he uses magnifying glass here. He probably doesn't. He probably shoots us. He is going to use the magnifying glass. Maybe to just put himself on the odd again. So that he gets an extra shot, potentially. Uh, so yeah, he sees a blank there. And now I'm assuming he's it's one and two now. So he's going to shoot us here. That's the optimal thing to do. Yep. Okay. And then he... Uh, so like I said, he probably did that because he knows that... He's thinking that it's like, I might not get another round. So might as well use the item now. So that's a that's a good call. And it puts him back on the even again. Or the, the odd again. Which gives him a slight advantage. But fortunately for him, he missed there. And we get a guaranteed one on him here using handcuffs. So it worked out pretty well for us here. But uh, so far, I'm I'm liking this. This is pretty interesting. Thinking about the dealer as a uh, an actual rational being. Semi-rational. I think like if you wanted to improve the dealer slightly, you would um, maybe have that round-to-round -round thinking, you know, where seeing how he would act if he knew that he could carry over items into the next, you know, thing. But I don't even, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that would look. All right, we got handsaw, we got handsaw, we got smokes, we got magnifying glass. All right, we got a pretty good shot of just winning this. That is three and four right there. Uh, and yeah, I will opt to try to just close this out, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and look for the win here. I could drink a beer here, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just going to see if we get the win here. And we do. Excellent. So we get into closing this round out and killing the smart dealer. All right. We just shoot this fucker in the face and move on. Bye-bye. Boom. But see, yeah, using magnifying glass in the last round was good. Because it gave him an advantage, and he didn't make it out of this round anyway, because we get to go first. So, it wasn't stupid for him to use the magnifying glass there, even though it only gave him a small amount of value. Because, he didn't get to go again. So, good good play from the dealer so far, for the most part. I see a magnifying glass, and then he's got smokes over there. Two health right there, there's now three and four. Three and four, I can get better odds later with the magnifying glass, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot into dealer here and move on. We can't die here. It's now three and three, and now he should just shoot us if he was smart. And he's going to shoot us. Smart dealer. All right, it's now three and two. And uh, once again, I can get better odds later with the magnifying glass, so I'm just going to shoot into dealer here. 60% chance of hitting. We miss. It is now uh, three and one. And now he's going to go and he's going to shoot us. Smart. It's now two and one. So now using magnifying glass here doesn't do anything for us. We're just going to hope to... Well, it actually does do something for us, okay? The reason being is now I have to think about this in terms of the actual, like a smart guy, <laughs> okay? If the first one is blank... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He would. I think we're guaranteed dead here. Yeah, we are guaranteed dead here because he's going to shoot us no matter what. No, we're not. Okay, if the first one is live... We have a chance because it goes to being a 50 50. Um, so I do not want to use magnifying glass here because if I hit blank, I'm dead anyway. All right. Interesting. Okay. So we keep the magnifying glass. Okay. We're dead. We're dead automatically because he's just going to shoot us here. He knows that the remaining ones are live and we end up dying. Damn, dude. Brutal. Brutal. This AI. He's brutal, bro. All right. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. This is a lot of fun, man. I'm liking this AI. Good job, um, I think it's ITR, right? ITR? Good job with the mod, man. I'm enjoying this. You guys should definitely pick it up and play around with it. Like I said, do it on a VM, uh, and you proceed with caution, obviously. I don't know a whole lot about the software. I'm doing this on a VM, but I would say play around with it. Have some fun with it, baby. All right, enter name. Let's just send in, um, uh, hmm. We'll just send in Bezos. I love Bezos. <laughs> not not IRL, I just like uh, putting his name in here. Alright, we're on round one here. Round one, let's see how this goes. Alright, 
What items do we got? We've got booze. We've got booze. We've got magnifying glass. He's got two hand saws and smokes. Don't like that. Three health right there, and that is two and three. All right. Two and three. Um, I cannot prevent him from going. So I'm guessing what's going to happen is I would shoot here. He's probably going to saw it off and then shoot back at us because he's going to assume he's only going to get two shots anyway. And using two hand saws is better than nothing, right? Because he's only looking at this from like a round-to-round -round perspective. So if I drink two booze, it goes down to three. But if I hit both, if I hit two blanks, we're going to take two probably anyway. And we've wasted our booze. Um, yeah, I don't see much of advantage in using booze here because we can't, uh, get all the way through the round here. All right. So I shoot, I miss, it's now two and two. I'm assuming he's going to saw it off and then shoot at us for two here. Smart thing to do. And let's see if he hits 50, 50 chance that he hits and he does not. Excellent. All right. So now it is two and one, two and one. Now I have to think about this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eject one. Because here's the thing. If I eject one and it's live, I get a guaranteed one on him and I take nothing. If I eject one and it's a blank, I drink another one and I get a guaranteed one on him and I keep my magnifying glass. If I just shoot here, I will be taking two no matter what and I will only be dealing one. So I'm going to drink booze here. And uh, we eject a live one. All right, so now... I could use my magnifying glass, but I think I'm actually going to keep it for later because we aren't going to be dealing two here. So I'm going to drink another beer. Guarantee get to the next loadout without taking any damage. Um, yeah. So the last one was blank. A bit of a bummer there, but um, it's all good. It's all good. Even if we use the magnifying glass there, he'd be able to smoke up to three again using his cigarettes. So I think that's fine. I get another magnifying glass. I get booze. I get booze. I get handcuffs now. All right, he's got handcuffs and a lot of shit. All right, that's one and one. I get a guaranteed one using handcuffs here, which I will opt to take. All right, so we're going to cuff him, shoot twice. He doesn't get a turn. He's almost maxed out on items here, so he's not gaining a whole lot by us going to the next loadout, whereas we are gaining quite a bit because we have all four item slots here, and we go first. So I shoot twice. He goes to two, and we go next. All right. So I, I, I can see that with this dealer, turn deprivation is actually going to be huge because we know he's going to be lethal on his turns. All right, we got two hand saws, we got booze, we got magnifying glass. So lots so we have a very good shot of winning here, and that's a guaranteed win. Excellent. So I, I have three magnifying glasses and hand saws. That means I am guaranteed to get through all of the blanks and get to a live. And we see a win right there. Excellent. So we go on to the next round, baby. Round two. So far, we have not made it through a uh, full gauntlet here against this uh, lethal dealer, man. But uh, as you can see, this is kind of why I was saying I think the game on a certain level benefits from having a, you know, a dealer AI that isn't too smart. Uh, the reason being is that we, you would lose so much more if the dealer acted like this and you wouldn't be able to even get into the high score range much at all. Which is just, you know, not as much fun. It's fun to have a long run that goes and you try to get to the fucking billion like I'm trying to do, man. So, uh, but I'm having fun right now checking out this new AI. Alright, that's three health right there and that is three and three. Alright. So, three health, three and three. I think I can get better odds with the handsaw later. So I'm just going to shoot into dealer and I'm assuming he's just going to shoot me right back. We shoot. It's now three and two here. I'm just going to assume the dealer's just going to shoot me here. No reason not to. Smart man, and he misses. It's now three and one. Three and one. Um, so he's at the advantage because he's on the odd shot. We are on the even shot. So he's going to get one extra shot on us, but um, I can maybe change that. When we get to the last two, I may be able to shoot myself and then maybe get a two on him. But let's see. All right, I'm going to shoot into dealer again. And we hit. Good stuff. So it is now uh, two and one. And now the dealer's going to smoke back up to three, I'm assuming, and he's going to shoot at us again. And we will probably get a guaranteed... We Actually, we will get a guaranteed... Not a guaranteed two. I'm going to hope this next one's the blank. That'd be best case scenario. It is not. All right. So what I'm going to opt to do here is I am going to uh, shoot myself here 
the reason being is that if I, okay, so think about it like this. So I can shoot myself and I take one if it's a live one or if it's a blank, I deal a guaranteed two. If I shoot him and it's the blank, I take one back, right? If I shoot him using handsaw and it's the blank, I take one back and I lost a handsaw. And if I shoot him here and don't use the handsaw, I'm dealing one. So in this scenario, my downside is taking one and my upside is taking dealing a guaranteed two and keep in using my handsaw effectively. Whereas the other ones have me taking one and losing my handsaw for no reason, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna shoot myself here, hope it's a blank. And it is, excellent. So we end up dealing a guaranteed two to him. We're gonna start the next loadout with him at one and us at two. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. So I'm just hoping to get handcuffs and magnifying glasses here. Good shit, good shit. All right, he goes down to one. And we are gonna get a go again on the next loadout. So just give me handcuffs, one pair, one pair maximum, and some magnifying glasses, and we get through this. Booze, that is it. All right, it's not exactly what I wanted to see. Music cut out again. That is now two and three right there, two and three. Uh, all I can do here is shoot and hope for the best. I hope to hit here. 40% chance, and we miss. So now we are likely dead. Well, not likely dead. Never mind. He's, he has to hit a 50-50 and then a one out of three to kill us here. So I feel okay about this. All right. So he shoots at us. And then we go down to one. And now it is a one out of three. He's going to just shoot us again. Because best odds are to just shoot us here. Um, I'm just going to hope that the next one is a blank. And then we get to the next loadout guaranteed. All right. Blank, blank, blank. Ah, oh, we're dead, man. Man, this dealer, he's crazy, he's crazy. This guy's insane. All right, all right, I'm, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to this. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. We're going to see how far we get. This is a lot of fun, man. I dig this, I dig this. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, we go next. We go into the dealer room again of the cracked dealer. I am convinced that he's uh, pretty damn smart now, baby. All right, we're sending in Irish. I need the luck of the Irish. Historically, my best runs, I think, have been when I've been named Irish, except for maybe, I think the 16.5 million maybe wasn't Irish. Maybe it was something else. I don't know. But Irish on average gets me pretty far. All right, we got magnifying glass. We got magnifying glass. We got magnifying glass. All right. I'll take that. I think that's how I started the last one too, right? Two health, and that is uh, two and two right there. Oof. We are, we might just be dead. I think I have to find the, I have to, I have to find at least one live in order to have a chance of living here. But I think we might just be dead because he's going to handcuff us and use handsaw. We are very likely just dead here. All right, I'm going to take another peek. All right, so that's a live one. So now... If I were the dealer, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter to the dealer's perspective because he's not thinking from round to round. Um, I would just handcuff. So he's going to smoke back up to two. I would handcuff, and then he's going to... I would shoot first and then use handsaw if he misses, but it doesn't really matter for him because he's not thinking about the next round at all. Same expected value either way, I think. All right, so he's going to shoot us for one, potentially. All right, that was lucky. That was lucky, though. So he did what I was saying was the better option. Because now he gets to preserve a handsaw into the next round. But I wasn't sure he was thinking about it like that. But we are still alive, thankfully. And so the next one he's going to shoot arbitrarily. Because it doesn't matter because it's a blank. He's going to shoot himself. We move on to the next loadout. So I'm going to hope to hit a handsaw here. But that was close. I came very close to death there. We got a handsaw. Excellent. We got handcuffs. Might be able to close this out. And we got uh, three and four. All right. Three and four... It's a little unfortunate because uh, it's skewed against our favor and seeing a live one here and having the guaranteed win. But if it goes to him, we are basically dead. So I have to just go for the win here. And we see a blank. That is not what I wanted to see, man. Uh, so I'm going to shoot myself here. And uh, I don't think it matters if we use handcuffs here or not. Because even if, let's say, we miss with the handsaw and then we, you know, it goes to him. 
it would be two blanks and then he gets a guaranteed kill on us. So I just got to hand saw it and shoot for two and hope for the best. Um, using handcuffs does nothing because he's got a guaranteed win if we miss here. And he does. All right, so if he's smart, he will use both magnifying glasses and have a guaranteed win. Let's see what he does. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna saw it off first because he knows he's got a guaranteed win. Uh, it's, it looks, it, you know, what's interesting is I didn't know this until I played against this. I think you could shoot yourself when it's sawed off, and it won't unsaw the gun. All right, well, we're dead anyway. <laughs> we die immediately, man. This day, this AI is cracked. This AI is cracked. All right, all right, wait, wait. I said I would do one more, but I just want, I just want to go. One more time. All right, one more time. One more time. This is a lot of fun, man. I'm getting my shit pushed in against this dealer. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Kick the door in, baby. Kick the door. I want to try to make it to at least through one gauntlet without dying. That's my goal. So I'm going to hope to get that here. All right. Please sign the waiver. I don't think we've been playing particularly bad either. It's just the de uh, it's way harder when the dealer is smart. All right, who are we going to send in this time? I think I'm going to send in Anita. Because Anita Max Ween. Anita Max Ween. God, it's so awkward when the music cuts out, bro. That's my one complaint about this mod loader, as it's uh, fucking up the music. I have noticed, like, some of the shaders look a little bit different to me. I don't know if I'm imagining that. But, uh, all good, all good. All right, we've got four health here. That's what I like to see. That's three and four there. All right. Three and four. Skin. Three and four skin. All right, um, three and four, we're on the odd. I don't want to use handcuffs here because that would put us on the even again. But I could use handcuffs and then drink booze, but I don't think I, there's much point in that. I'm assuming what's going to happen here is it's we're going to shoot for one. We may or may not miss. He'll probably use handcuffs or magnifying glass in an attempt to get back on the, the odd again. The odd shot. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot dealer here. We have no shot of dying here, so I think I can just wait on using my items here. So he's going to saw it off here because he knows he's going to shoot at me anyway. And I'm assuming, yeah, he's going to handcuff. So now he's on the odd shot again after he shoots twice. Well, he shoots once, then he's on the odd shot, I mean. All right, so he hits us for two. All right, it's now two and three here. So he could just kill us here. Two and three, and uh, let's see if he goes for the auto win here. He might just go for it. Um, he's going to saw it off, go for the 40% chance, or is he going to use the magnifying glass here? All right, so he uses the magnifying glass. Let's see if he sees a live one or a blank. Takes a look, and he's going to shoot himself. See, I don't think it's going to... See, it stays sawed off until he shoots at us, which is interesting. I didn't know that. All right, he misses, though. All right, all right. So it's now... Um, what is it? It is uh, two and one there. Two and one. Now, what I want to do on two and one is I could eject one. Yeah, I think I'm going to eject one. So first, let me smoke. So I'm going to eject one. Hope to hit the blank. If we hit the blank, we hit him for two. If I hit a live one, we still hit him for a guaranteed one and take nothing. So I'm going to opt to do that. So we drink here. Drink a brewski. And then we eject the blank. Excellent. So now I use handcuffs here and I get a guaranteed two on the boy. That was lucky. Good stuff. So we're going into the next loadout, both of us having used all of our items here. But actually, so now that I think about it, with, with the gun being sawed off, you know, carrying over if you shoot yourself, I wonder, can you do that from loadout to loadout? Like, let's say that you have five items one of them is a handsaw and you saw it off and then shoot yourself and it goes to the next loadout does it stay sawed off into the next one so that you freed up an item slot so that you can get more space in your inventory and it stays sawed off and you get to go again i want to try that out at some point all right i got booze and he's got handcuffs all right there's now two and three there so we are on the odd shot i'm gonna wait for him to use handcuffs to put it back on the odd shot for him and then, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just shoot the dealer here. All right, excellent. So it's now one and three. I'm assuming he's going to use handcuffs here to try to get back onto the odd shot. He's going to do that. And then he's going to shoot us twice here. So one and three. He's going to shoot at us. Smart. Misses, though. And is now one and two. 
So now there's a 1 out of 3 chance that he's going to hit us here. If not, we get to drink booze and then go from there, baby. He does hit us, though. Yep. See, this is why... Oh, man. You always shoot. Always shoot the opponent, man. So the remaining two are blanks. And uh, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to shoot the dealer, and then the dealer is going to get a go. But I'm feeling pretty good here because he is at 1. So assuming that I get handcuffs or magnifying glasses, I have a very good shot of just closing this thing out. All right. We go next, baby. We go next. All right, what have we got? We have got smokes. We've got magnifying glass. Excellent. We got another magnifying glass. Good shit, brother. And that is a uh, guaranteed win. Excellent. Sometimes you just get lucky, man. Sometimes you just get lucky like that. You get a win handed to you on a silver platter, baby. All right. I'm going to shoot myself here. What I might do because the, the lack of music makes this shit hella awkward is I might just edit in some music um, in post. Uh, but... For if you're watching this, just take my word that uh, there is no music when I'm playing, and this is extremely awkward. I'm just looking across at the dealer in complete silence, <laughs> lovingly. All right, we've given, we are in round two now. Let's see if I can get a full gauntlet completed, end to end. All right, I have got handcuffs. I've got handcuffs, double handcuffs, not the greatest. And that is four health right there, and that is one and one. I get a guaranteed one, though. I will take that. All right, guaranteed one on the dealer, and then we get to go, go again before he even gets a turn. Good stuff. All right, shoot dealer. And I'm just hoping for magnifying glasses and uh, hand saws, as always, pretty much. That's all I want. Don't want anything else. All right, we shoot again into dealer, and then boom, we move on, baby. Moving on to the next loadout. What do we got? We got more handcuffs. Not great. We got magnifying glass. We got three pairs of handcuffs. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. And that is uh, th three and four. Three and four. So we're on the odd. And see, now, handcuffs doesn't even really help us here. Because it'll put him on the even. Or it'll put him on the odd. But we don't want that. Uh, we want to be on the odd. So I'm going to wait for him to use his handcuffs. I'm just going to shoot here. That's why handcuffs not very good, especially when the opponent is playing optimally. Anyway, it is now uh, two and four, and now I'm assuming he's going to either use magnifying glass or handcuffs here. I'm assuming handcuffs after he smokes back up to four again, shoot twice at us, and then he'll be on the odd shot. Well, she'll shoot once, and they'll shoot again, and he'll be on the odd shot for the second shot. And then it'll go to us, we'll be on the even shot. Well, he's going to use a magnifying glass first. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. Huh. So, he's yeah, he's going to shoot at us no matter what. This is interesting, though. This is interesting. Maybe he thinks because we got handcuffs that he won't get to go again. So he's going to shoot himself. It's now two and three. Hmm. I don't know why he's doing it like that. See, I would have waited until a further turn to try to get the two on us, potentially. And then we're handcuffed, so it's now 2 and 2. He's going to shoot us again. 50-50 shot of hitting us, and misses again. All right, so it's now uh, 2 and 1. Um, so here, I will definitely be using handcuffs. It's a question of if I want to use magnifying glass first. One-third of the time, it guarantees 2 for us. Uh, Two-thirds of the time, it does not guarantee 2 for us. So I think what I'm going to opt to do is I'm going to handcuff first... And then shoot once, and if we hit the live one, one of the live ones, then we get a guaranteed one using magnifying glass. Excellent. And now we get our guaranteed one using the magnifying glass, which I will opt to do because if we do not hit it, we will be taking a guaranteed one. So this is a reasonable use case for a magnifying glass here. And I'm taking, I'm taking every opportunity to deal damage to him because he is a smarty pants. Um... And I might not live long going against this guy. So we take those, baby. We take those. All right, we move on to the next loadout. And we get to go first, I'm hoping, once again, for magnifying glasses and hand saws. All right, give me magnifying glasses and hand saws. All right, we've got booze. That's not what I wanted. He's got a hand saw, though. And that is one and two there. Now, drinking booze here, I think, is good because... So, as I said, you know, when you're on the odd shot, it's better for you. But because going to the next loadout always benefits us, we just want to deprive him of taking more turns. 
So uh, two thirds of the time I'm going to hit a blank here and then I get a guaranteed one on him using handcuffs. One third of the time I hit the live one and we still get to the next loadout anyway. So let's just go ahead and do that without taking any damage, I mean. All right, we eject the blank. Excellent. So now I get a guaranteed one on him using handcuffs. We go into the next loadout with handcuffs and him at one. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. We may be able to make it through one whole gauntlet. Can I make it to the billion playing against this AI? <laughs> that would be hilarious. It's like, no, I can't make it to the billion playing against the stupid AI, but when it's the smart one, I go all the way. That would be pretty funny. All right, what do we got? Uh, handsaw, booze, smokes. All righty. That's three and three right there. All right, three and three. Uh, yeah, I think I just try to close it out. I mean, because it's possible for him to kill us over there. So I'm just going to handcuff him. We're on the even shot anyway, so this is going to benefit us to some extent because it will force him to use cuffs or magnifying glass to get back onto the odd shot, even if we miss here. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot twice in a dealer. We shoot once, and we hit. Excellent. All right, we move on to the next round. But yeah, this is like a totally different game when I'm playing against the smart dealer because it's all about which which shot you're on now. Before, when you're playing against the AI, it's like he's as equally likely to shoot himself as he is you. So it doesn't really matter if he's on the odd shot versus the even shot. But with this one, it, that's what it's all about. It's about flipping yourself to be on the odd shot so that you get an extra chance to deal damage. Because when it goes to three bullets, and you're the one on the shot, you always have an advantage. Imagine this, imagine this scenario, okay? Imagine there's no items in play, all right? If there's three blanks, it doesn't matter who's, you know, going. So I guess that's not an advantage for you, but it doesn't matter, nobody's taking damage. If there are three live ones, I shoot him, he shoots me, I shoot him again. He's taking two and I'm taking one. If it's two lives and one blank, I shoot him, and in the scenario where I hit him on my first shot, which is two-thirds of the time going to happen, he has a 50-50 shot of taking an additional one. If I hit the blank, obviously we each take one, but that's neutral, right? Now if it's one and two, I shoot, I get a one-third chance to shoot him, and then it's a coin flip if I miss. Otherwise he's taking one and then nobody's taking the remaining damage. So in every scenario when you get to three shells remaining, you have the advantage if you are going assuming other items aren't in play, right? So, staying on the odd shot and getting to that scenario, that's always going to be best for you. Anyway, I got um, two hand saws here, and he's got a magnifying glass and booze. It's two health right there, and that is one and one. Excellent. All right, so here um, I will just uh, shoot myself and hope to hit the blank and then shoot him for two if I hit the blank. Uh, otherwise, we're taking one anyway if I shoot here and then we're losing a handsaw. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hope it's a blank. If not, no biggie. And we get the guaranteed win. Excellent. We've made it through um, an entire gauntlet without dying. Holy shit. All right. Congratulations go to me. <laughs> I have made it through one gauntlet. One set of three rounds. Let's see how far we can go, baby. All right. Anita Max win. Anita Max win. All right, give me a high score. I deserve it after going against the hard AI. 63,000, not the worst. All right, let's double it, baby. Let's go all the way to a billion against the hard AI. I believe it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I can tell. I have a good feeling about this. All right, we are in round one here. We've got a handsaw. We got booze. We got booze. We got smokes. All right. That is two health right there, and that is one and two. All right. So I'm glad we have handsaw here. If it goes to him and we miss, we immediately lose. So I'm going to just opt to drink two beers probably here. Unless we hit the live one right here, which we do. All right, so we get to go to the next loadout. No reason to give let him go. I mean, he's not going to use any items anyway. So just shoot ourselves twice, go to the next loadout here. And then uh, hope to get magnifying glasses as always and hope to close out a win here before he even gets a turn. All right, what have we got? What have we got? We have got handsaw, we've got magnifying glass, we've got uh, two booze. All right, so magnifying glass, I like that quite a bit, and that is one and two. All right, so we have a pretty good shot at just winning here. Two-thirds chance that I hit a blank with the booze, and then a guaranteed win if that's the case. Otherwise, we just go to the next loadout again. 
So let's eject one. Hope they hit a blank. And we got the guaranteed win, baby. All righty. Boom. Dealer may be smart, but I'm delightful, Kiss Boy. Come on. Come on. I mean, I have an advantage because I get to go first every fucking time. But <laughs> I'm also just... Never mind. Anyway, we're moving on. We're moving on. All right. Moving on to round two. The furthest we've gotten against the cracked AI dealer. All right. Anita wins, baby. Anita wins. All righty, all righty. What do we got? What do we got coming up here? Round two. Round two. What it gon' do? What it gon' do? All right. So our strats are just staying on the odd and uh, depriving dealer of turns, if at all possible. Three health. That's okay. And that is two and three now. Two and three. See, now high health rounds don't even make me excited anymore because the dealer is smart. <laughs> but we're on the odd right now, so we'll force him to get on the odd after using magnifying glass. And we can get back on the odd using beer. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot the dealer here. Wait for better odds with our handsaw. We miss. It is now two and two. He's going to saw it off because he knows he's going to shoot us anyway. And he's going to use a magnifying glass here. And he's going to check. What's he going to see? Is it going to be a live one? It is, in fact, a blank. All right, so he shoots himself. Is now two and one. So he has a two-thirds chance of hitting us for two here, which he misses. Holy shit. All right. So now the two remaining ones are live ones. So I'm just going to drink here, deprive him of a turn, and then shoot him for a guaranteed two. And he goes down to one. We go to the next uh, round, and we go first. Pretty good shit, buddy. Pretty good shit. Beer being crucial here. And beer, yeah, see, beer is a lot better, too, when your opponent is playing semi-optimally, or, like, rationally, because, um, like I said, it flips you on to the odd shell if you need it to. And it can help in situations like that. All right, I've got uh, handsaw, I've got handcuffs, I've got handsaw, I've got handcuffs. All right. So no matter what here, we're probably going to cuff him and then shoot for two, especially because it puts us onto the odd now because it's three and three. And then now I'm just going to shoot him twice using cuffs. Cuff him, boys. And we've got a pretty decent chance of hitting. It's a 50% chance and then a 60% chance if we miss. All right. It's a 60% chance that we just win here. If not, unfortunate, but uh, we can't die on his turn at least. Excellent. All right. We move on to the next round, baby. Moving on to the next round against the cracked dealer. See, as I said, you know, us getting to go first is just a huge advantage every time. So even though the other dealer is playing pretty smart, if he doesn't get turns, doesn't fucking matter. Because we get to go first, baby. Alright, I got the handsaw and he's got the smokes. And that is two health right there and that is one and one. Alright, so all we do here is shoot ourselves. Hope to hit the blank. Go next. All right, we shoot ourselves, and we hit the blank. We go next. Holy shit, we have made it through. Two double or nothing. So he's going to start with smokes going into the carryover round, um, which is uh, I'm not too concerned about. All right, boom, bitch. Now we double it. Double it, baby. We're going all the way to a billion. All the way to a billion. Evil Empire. Going all with Evil Empire, taking it all the way to the bank, or something like that. <laughs> Whatever that fucking ad lib is, bro. All right, round one of the third gauntlet against the cracked dealer, baby. All right, what are we getting? What are we getting? We've got magnifying glass. We got booze. We got booze. Two booze, one magnifying glass. Not the best, but not the worst. Four health. I like that. That is one and one there. All right, one and one. Um. The question is, do I want to use booze or do I want to use magnifying glass for the guaranteed one? I think we can get better value out of our magnifying glass later. So I'm going to drink booze here, hope to hit the blank. If we don't hit the blank, it's not the end of the world. And we hit the blank. Excellent. So a guaranteed one on him, and uh, he might just fill up on items before he ever gets a turn. In which case, us going to further loadouts isn't going to be that bad. But uh, this might be a scenario where if it ever goes to his turn, we might just die. <laughs> so... We try to deprive him from having turns. All right. Let's see. I've got booze and handcuffs and handsaw. That is three and three right there. Three and three. 
He's got magnifying glass hand saws over there. It's spooky. So three and three. I think what I got to do here is drink thrice. And then we go to the uh, low bullet count. We accelerate the round here. All right, so it's now uh, three and two. Let's drink again here. It's now two and two. Let's drink again. It's now uh, one and two. All right, so here what I can do is I can guaranteed get to the next loadout without uh, taking any damage here. So I'm going to cuff him. I'm going to shoot once into dealer. And we hit him for one. All right. And we uh, get to keep the rest of our items here. And we don't give him a turn because I get to shoot myself twice. So he's locked up on items here. He doesn't get to smoke again. And I think we're just going to opt to try to keep him locked down for as long as possible. We go into the next loadout with him at two and us with a magnifying glass and a handsaw. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Obviously, the only items I want to see... In the next loadout are magnifying glasses to secure the win. All right, magnifying glass, excellent. Pretty good, pretty good chances of just winning here, and that is four and four reduces our chances of winning here. But uh, we still got a 50-50 shot of seeing a live one here. Let's see if we see it. If not, we get to go again. And it's a blank. All right, so then we shoot ourselves, and we have a four out of seven chance of seeing a live one. And even if we don't see a live one, we will take the two-thirds chance after that of hitting him for two and winning. All right, we see a live one. Excellent. So we get to go to the next round without him even having taken a turn. That's what I love to see. All right. Shoot the dealer. Call it a day, baby. Boom, bitch. Moving on to the next round. Anita Max Ween. I'd like to get all the way to a million at least. That'd be kind of cool. Against the cracked dealer. Hard mode style. All right. We are in round two now. Items get reset. So he doesn't have that fucking scary lineup over there. All right. I got magnifying glass. I got smokes. I got handsaw. All right. Pretty good. I like that. He's got a magnifying glass and two handsaws. Don't like that. Four health. That is okay. And that is three and four right there. All right. Three and four. Um, I don't really see much reason to use items yet. We're on the odd shot. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot into the dealer. Force him to use a magnifying glass here if he wants to get onto the odd shot himself, potentially. Um, so it is uh, three and three here. He's going to saw it off because he knows he's going to shoot at us no matter what using handsaw. And he's not going to use the magnifying glass here. Interesting. And he shoots us for two. All right, we take two. It is now two and three. Two and three. We get a smoke back up to three. Um, and then I will just opt to shoot into dealer again blindly, I think, with a two and three. Hold on to our items, get better value out of them later. We have no shot of dying on his turn, at least. All right, sweet. It's now one and three. Let's see if he wants to use a magnifying glass here. He is not going to. He is going to shoot himself on one and three. Uh, actually makes sense to do that because of handsaw, I think. One and three when there's no... Oh, damn, he's keep, he keeps shooting himself. Interesting. That was interesting. That I'm not sure about. I have to think about that. I have to think about that. Actually, that, that, no, no, that, that makes sense. Ish. I'd have to calculate it out. It's at least neutral what he did there. So, let me explain. So, on, on one and three, okay, if we were playing and we were both playing optimally and there's no items involved, shooting your opponent versus shooting yourself on a one and three is neutral. Expected value zero either way. So, you can take either line, but since he's got a handsaw, and if he gets the shot, then he's dealing two. Then shooting yourself there does make sense, actually. Now, one and two I'd have to think about. Because I think what he was trying to go for is that if he shoots himself there, there's a two-thirds chance that's a blank. And he gets a guaranteed two on us in that scenario. So that would be two-thirds of the time he's dealing a guaranteed two. So that would be um, uh, pretty good. And then one-third of the time he is taking one. So I think if he's thinking about it like that, that's um, that's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good play right there. Interesting, interesting. We are learning from the smart dealer here. All right. Now he's going to shoot himself or shoot arbitrarily because the remaining two are blanks. Um, but anyway, we get to go into the next loadout with him at two and less with a magnifying glass, buddy. So, so far I've been seeing pretty damn good play from the smart dealer. All right. We've got uh, two magnifying glasses and a handsaw. 
We got two hand saws actually. Not that we really need both of them, but I'm just gonna fish for the win here before he gets a turn. And we see the win right there. Excellent, excellent. All right, we saw it off. And send one right into the dealer. Alrighty. Boom, bitch. Get fucked. Move on to the next round, man. Let us go to the next round. Anita wins. Good stuff, good stuff. Alrighty. We are in round three. Let's go. Round three. Carry over round. We've got magnifying glass. We got smokes. All right. Three health right there. And that is three and three. Or is it three and four? Sorry. Three, I think it was three and four. Three and four. Uh, but in either case, I'm just going to shoot here. Hope to get better value out of our items later. And if it's three and four, we're on the odd shot. So feeling pretty good about that. Let's see if he uses magnifying glass here. He does not. He just opts to shoot us. Pretty smart. He misses though. It's now three and two, I believe. And on three and two, I'm just going to shoot him. Keep going. And we hit. It's now two and two. Uh, so using magnifying glass for him here is actually pretty decent. He's going to smoke up to three again, I'm assuming. And then he, I think he would probably use magnifying glass here. Um, yeah, that's a good call. Let's see if he sees a blank or alive. I'm going to hope he sees, well, I don't care either way, actually. All right, he shoots himself so that it is a two and one scenario now. So he just shoots us here. Smart. He misses though. Okay, so the two remaining ones are live. So we just get, he gets a shot on, we get a shot on him. He gets a shot on me. We each take one. So it's neutral. All right. A gentleman's loadout. He's got no items though to our two items, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And we're beach at two now. Cool. And we get to start the next loadout, buddy. Alrighty. Here we go. What are we gonna get? We have got magnifying glass, we got booze, we got booze. Okay, he's got two magnifying glasses and a handsaw. That is two and three right there. Two and three. Okay. Two and three. Now, I'm on the odd shot. I don't think I need to do anything here. I think I'm going to wait for him to use magnifying glasses, etc. I'm going to definitely smoke back up to three to get out of death range here. And you can only do a max two here. He probably will do two, because he's probably going to use both magnifying glasses, if necessary, to find a guaranteed two. Uh, but that is okay. That is okay with us. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just shoot dealer here. Move on. All right, there's now two and two here. Two and two. Now he's going to go. Probably going to use magnifying glass number one. Let's see if he sees a live one. He does not. He's going to shoot himself. And then he's going to use another magnifying glass. I'm a, Well, maybe not. He might just go for the shot. Nope. Okay. So he's going to take a look here. It's now two and one. So he guarantees he's going to get a two on us. But I think we win because we have a handsaw, right? So we are all good here. All right. He shoots us for two. I think we have a handsaw, don't we? Can't remember. All right. We go to one here. And uh, I think we get the win. No, we don't have a handsaw. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, we get the... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Was it... Uh... All right. We'll just shoot. I think the last... I think it's just a blank, right? Or a uh, live one. Yeah. All right. It's just a live one. So he's, we're going to go to the next uh, loadout with uh, him at one, us at one. Oh, never mind, it wasn't. I should have used the magnifying glass there, but it uh, hey, it paid off. All right, good shit, good shit. Just got to keep track better. But we've got uh, more items for my mistake, so that's good. we got handcuffs, we got handcuffs, we got uh, handsaw. So we are probably going to win here. And that is a guaranteed win using handcuffs, which I do enjoy. I do, in fact, enjoy that. So let's just cuff him up. And we shoot into dealer here. All right, that is a miss. And we just shoot again, and we move on to the next round, which is uh, another double or nothing, I believe. All right, we shoot him. We win. We move on to the next round, baby. All right, we are doubling it. Absolutely. We keep going, man. 254,000 against the tough dealer. Hell yeah, man. We keep sending it. 
We keep sending it until we get to a billion, man. If I get to a million here, I'm going to be pretty happy. All right. I've got uh, booze. I've got handsaw. We've got handcuffs here. We're out of space. That's all good. I didn't really want more handcuffs anyway. Um, but he gets more items. All right. Uh, four health right there, and that is one and one. That is a guaranteed at least one using handcuffs here, which I will opt to take. I will opt to use handcuffs over booze because handcuffs get worse in multiples. I'm going to hope to hit the blank. I Maybe I should have sawed it off anyway. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so here I will make some space. I'll use a booze here um, just to make a little bit extra space for better items potentially. And we just eject the blank. We move on here. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Give me some good items, baby. All right, we've got uh, another handsaw. That is it. Okay. And that is uh, three and three right there. Three and three. So, yeah, I probably should have used handsaw because we had two of them, so I could guarantee two right there. Anyway, it's all good. It's all good. All right, three and three. Uh, we have no shot of killing them here. Uh, I can get on to the odd shot, but then he's got items to push it back off of that anyway. So it doesn't really matter to me at this point. Um, I could go for a guaranteed... Not a guaranteed two, but I could try to see it too. I think I'm going to use one handsaw and shoot blindly here. And then hope to secure the win later. Because it's impossible for us to die here at least. And we hit for two. Excellent. Best case scenario. It's now two and three. So we're pretty likely to win here. Uh, we're going to see what he does. I'm, I'm interested to see what he does here. It's now two and three. He's on the odd shot. He's going to smoke back up to two, obviously. No reason not to from the dealer's perspective here. Um, and then he's going to handcuff us on two and three. Let's see if he drinks here. So he drinks here. Now he's on the odd... No, he's on the even shot first. He's going to use a magnifying glass. This is interesting. This is interesting play here. He's on the even shot. It's now two and two. And he's going to shoot himself. Now he's on the odd shot again. It's two and one. And now, let's see what he does. He's going to use another magnifying glass. And he's going to see if he gets the guaranteed two. Let's see if he sees it. If he doesn't, let's see what he does. All right. He sees the guaranteed two. Damn, all right. Well played, dealer. Well played. Sheesh. All right. Bruh is a natural, dude. He's a natural. He got a guaranteed two on us. All good, though. So it's going to be two to two. He used most of his items there, but uh, that's what he's going to opt to do because he's not thinking about shit round to round. But I think it was worth it for the most part. He got a guaranteed two on us, and he takes no more damage here. Unfortunately for him, we have a handsaw and two magnifying glasses. So not much he can really do about that. Uh, we got another handsaw. We've got booze. Uh, smokes. Man, I wish I could have kept that uh, magnifying glass there. But we might have a guaranteed win anyway. If it's like two and two, for example, which it's two and three, we have almost a guaranteed win. Um, close to, we have a very probable win is what I'll say. Unless the last two are live. All right, so I eject, I shoot myself here. We're going to take another look. So it is now two and two here. We're going to take another peek here. Take a peek. You see another blank. All right, it's now two and one. Okay, now, definitely want to smoke here, because if it goes to his turn and we miss, we take a guaranteed two. I could alternatively eject one, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to opt for the two-thirds chance of just winning right now. If we miss, no big deal, we're still alive, and we go into the next loadout with hand saws. And we miss! Damn, the last two were alive, so he's going to get a guaranteed two on us. He should just handcuff us here and shoot twice, that would be the optimal play right there. And he's going to handcuff us and shoot twice, I'm assuming. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, well, you know, not that much I could do about that. I could have I could have used booze there and hoped to hit a blank. But if I hit the live one, I was pretty sure it wasn't going to be the two and three live scenario. Like the two live and then three blanks. Or I mean the other way around. Three blanks and then two live. It's pretty unlikely, but... Um, End up happening. All right. So maybe I should have used booze there, but it's okay. Just hoping to get magnifying glasses here. We got handcuffs, though. That's pretty good. We got uh, more handcuffs. Not this good. Yeah. Three pairs of handcuffs. Not what I wanted to see. 
Still got a decent chance. Okay, we have a guaranteed win. We have a guaranteed win. I just cuff him up and then saw it off, shoot. If we miss, saw it off again, shoot again. All right, so never punished, never punished. All right, saw it off, shoot. Saw it off, shoot again. We move on to the next round, baby. All right. This run is going pretty well so far against the cracked dealer. All right. Here we go, here we go. Still cuffed up over there, and then we got another handsaw here. And we go again, baby. Move on to the next round. Kablooey. Moving on, baby. I'm going all the way to a billion. I could feel it. Smart dealer or not, we're making it all the way there. All right, all right. We are on round two now. Round two. Can we make it to another double or nothing, baby? What have we got? We have got magnifying glass. We got handcuffs. We got booze. All right. That is four right there. Four health, and that is two and three. All right. He's got magnifying glass handsaw. I don't like that, but we're at four health, so it's okay. So two and three. We're on the odd shot. I don't think that using items here particularly benefits us. I'm just going to let him give us a little more info and then move on from there. Hope to get better value later. We have no shot of dying on his turn. It's now one and three, so that's best case scenario. So now let's see what he opts to do. He's going to drink first. Probably eject a blank. He ejects a live one though, so the, re the rest are um, blank. So he's probably just going to shoot himself or us. It doesn't really matter either way because the rest are blank. We move on to the next loadout. Sweet. So we got him for one, and we took nothing. And he's down an item. That was pretty lucky. That was pretty lucky. Because we were pretty likely to take two there if that next one wasn't a live one. All right, we got a uh, bunch of magnifying glasses. I like that quite a bit, actually. And that is three and three. All right, so we have a guaranteed shot here if we want to take it. I don't know if we want to, though. I could do a guaranteed two here, though. That's pretty good. And I could try to, maybe, if, if this is a live one, that's actually pretty decent. Because we end up getting to the next loadout without taking anything. And if it's not, we get a... Okay, so we just have to use one fewer magnifying glass, potentially, to deal a guaranteed two here. So I will take my guaranteed two here. And uh, we will take a guaranteed two back. But that's okay. Alright, so we see a live one, we shoot here, so it's now um, two and two. Let's just go searching for another live one. And then he'll be at one, and we'll have some number of magnifying glasses going into the next loadout. Um, anywhere from zero to two. And we, we have two. Excellent. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, so it is now uh, one and two. So we're guaranteed to take two back here if he uses his um, items well. Um, and he, he has no reason not to because he's not thinking about the next round at all. He might not get another turn. So he should definitely, yeah, be going for maximizing damage here so he is going to shoot himself and now i'm going to see if he uses handcuffs and two hand saws or magnifying glass and hand saw um either way the odds are the same what i would do is i would okay he's going to use the magnifying glass there all right i wonder how the ai prioritizes item usage if it has anything coded in for that like if that certain items are better than other ones um because that would could be a potential improvement if i were so just speaking of the dev here, one, one point of feedback is that I would opt to have him use handcuffs over magnifying glass if it doesn't matter either way, if the expected value is the same either way. I would prioritize using handcuffs over magnifying glass. Because um, in that scenario, I might I would probably go with the two hand saws and keep the magnifying glass. Two hand, hand saws and handcuffs over the magnifying glass and hand saw, but... I don't know, it's close there. I, I couldn't really tell you. All right, we got uh, handcuffs, booze, smokes right there. All right, we have a guaranteed win. All right, excellent, excellent stuff. I just have to use at least one magnifying glass here and then we win. Good stuff, I love to see it. And that is the win right there. We shoot into dealer, we move on, we move on. Your smart AI cannot save you from my going first ability. All right, move on. Anita wins, baby. Moving on to the next round. Round three. Can we double it, baby, against the cracked dealer? We have got booze, and that is it. And he's got handcuffs over there. 
That is two health right there, and that is four and four skin. All right, four and four. I could drink booze here to put me on the um, odd shot, but then he could just get right back onto the odd shot by using handcuffs. So I'm gonna opt to not use it yet. I'm just gonna shoot dealer and see what happens. We miss. It is now four and three. Let's see if he uses the handcuffs here. He is going to handcuff us. Interesting, because he's on the odd shot. But I guess it's because his chances of hitting us here are better than average, so it's probably a decent call, actually. So it's now uh, three and three, and let's see if he... I mean, he's going to shoot us again no matter what. And then he's just going to shoot us again, I'm assuming. Yep, and 50-50 shot of hitting us and killing us, and he misses. All right. I like that. So now we're on the odd shot. There's not much else I can really do. Using booze here is explicitly bad. Is now um, three and two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot into dealer. Hope for the best. And we hit. All right, it's now two and two. And he's just gonna shoot us. Has a 50-50 chance of killing us. And I hope he misses. That's all I can do. All right, he shoots at us and misses. Oh my God, that was clutch. That was clutch. All right, so it's now two and one. And so drinking booze is explicitly bad for us here. Because we have a two-thirds chance of winning. I'm hoping we get it. And we do. Oh, man. Yeah, that, uh, that could have gone either way there. It uh, was really a toss-up. But we make it to the next double or nothing round. Half a million against the smart dealer. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Pretty proud of that. Pretty proud of that. Do it pretty well. Of course, we got some pretty good luck there, you know, but uh, I'll take what I can get. All right, I got booze. He's got nothing. I got magnifying glass, and he's got magnifying glass as well. Okay. Two health, and that is two and three. So it's potential for somebody to die here, but it's unlikely. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shoot here and then wait on using my items until later. All right, we shoot. Excellent. So it's now one and three. I'm assuming he's going to use magnifying glass here to get to the one and three potentially. You might just see a live one, though. Um, I don't really mind that, though, because we got both of our items still. He's going to shoot at himself. Yep. So it's now one and two. He's going to shoot us here, and he's got a one out of three chance of dealing one to us here. Otherwise, we have a guaranteed win. And we have a guaranteed win. Excellent, excellent. All right. I'm going to use the magnifying glass here, and uh, we've got a blank. So I just shoot myself and then shoot the dealer, and we move on to the next round, man. Good shit, good shit. Good shit, Mad City. All right. Shoot the dealer. Move on. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. All right. Next round. What do we got? What do we got? Anito wins, baby. I'm hoping to get to the million against the crack dealer, man. That'd be pretty sick. Pretty sick. All right. What do we got here? What do we got here? We have got handsaw. We've got handsaw. We've got handcuffs. Okay. And it is four health, and that is two and two right there. Okay. Huh. Um, using handcuffs here for us is pretty decent-ish. Um, is it, though? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think I will just opt to handcuff, use a handsaw, and then go from there. Just try to get some damage on him quickly. All right, so I'm going to use a handsaw, shoot into dealer for two here. If I was playing against the normal dealer, I probably just would have shot there. All right, sweet. So it's now one and um, two. So here is what I have to think about. Do I want to... So if I shoot here and I miss, then I take a guaranteed two. So I think I'm going to opt to shoot myself here because I know that he will get a guaranteed one on a guaranteed two on us. Otherwise, so we just uh, we just opt to hope that the last one is the live one All right, so it's now a 50 50 shot next one could be live But in that case we're taking one and we just go to the next loadout like nothing happened um, And we take one whatever Otherwise we had a guaranteed win, but we do not get the guaranteed win, but he's at two and we we're at three So we maintain a little bit more health here going into the next loadout. So I think that was the right call I think that was the right call it was similar to a play he made earlier, so I'm going to assume it's at least decent. All right, I've got uh, smokes, I've got magnifying glass. So we've got a pretty good shot of winning here. That is a... Not a guaranteed win, but it's a pretty good shot of winning. We have a two-thirds chance of winning here. 
because I'm going to shoot myself here if we miss. If it, I mean, if it's a live one, so be it, but uh, it is a live one. All right. We go to the next loadout, and he's still at two. We, we don't take two here, so I'm feeling good about that. And the two remaining are blanks, and he's not going to waste his items because he's not a stupid dumbass. You know, what's interesting, though, is that once when the, your inventory starts filling up, like, I, if I were in his position, I would use handcuffs to make room for better items because he's doubled up on handcuffs, but he's not thinking about it from round to round, right? So... That'd be another potential improvement I could see is when he gets close to filling up his items, consider quote unquote wasting some of them to make space for better items. Anyway, uh, magnifying glass, booze, smokes, uh, booze. I understand that the problem space gets way bigger. All right, so that's uh, two and three right there. It gets so much bigger if you start considering what rounds may be, but um, that would make them more intelligent. I mean, and that's why I was suggesting earlier a Monte Carlo simulation, because then you could take into account round-to-round -round behavior. But I think this heuristic is close enough to optimal that it's it's good enough. All right, I'm going to inject a uh, round here. I'm going to hope to get a guaranteed win. All right, so now two and two. We have a guaranteed win. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, so it's a blank. I shoot myself. It's two and one then. And then I uh, use another magnifying glass and shoot for a guaranteed two after this, depending on if it's blank or live. Guaranteed win, baby, we move on. All right, that is a blank, so we shoot ourselves, and we know that the two remaining are both live, so I just gotta saw it off and send into dealer, and we win. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, saw it off, send it to dealer, baby. Boom, bitch. We move on, buddy. Good stuff, good stuff. Doing pretty well against this AI, I gotta say. I gotta say. He is much spookier. He's much scarier than the regular dealer, though. That is for sure. Okay. Moving on to round three, the carryover round. Can we get to the million? The million against the cracked dealer. All right, we've got smokes. That is it. A pair of handcuffs over there. That is three health right there, and that is four and four skin. Um, four and four, I'm just going to shoot. I mean, all I do here, because we have no decision making really, is I just shoot at the dealer over and over again, because that's our best odds. All right, it's now four and three. He's going to handcuff us, assumedly, because he's got an advantage here. It'll also put him... No, he's already on the even. No, he's already on the odd, so maybe he's not going to do it. Yeah. All right, it's now four and two, and I just shoot into dealer again here. Yeah, because he's on the odd, so maybe that's why he didn't want to use handcuffs there. Smart. But he's probably going to use them now, because it's now three and... Uh, Three and two, right? So, yeah, three and two, I think making using um, handcuffs there makes sense. He's going to shoot at us twice. Hits us for one. So it's now two and two, I believe. And then he's going to shoot us again here. So we'll heal back up to three if we need to. All right, so two and two and shoots us again. All right, so it's now one and two. So we will heal back up to two. We have no shot of dying in this loadout here. All right, so two and two. Or no, one and two, I mean. One and two, right? We smoke. And I'm just gonna shoot into dealer here. Go from there. All right, we miss. So it's now a coin flip, 50-50 either way as to who's gonna take one here. He's gonna have to shoot us, and he ends up taking the extra one. That's good, that's very good for us. All right. Shoot dealer, and then just give me handcuffs and magnifying glasses in the next loadout, man. That's all I want. All I want to see when he's at one, and we go first. All right. What do we got? We have got booze. We've got smokes. Okay. Not the best. All right. Well, we... Mm. So drinking booze here actually doesn't help us. I will smoke here. Oh, I shouldn't have smoked, actually. Never mind. What am I doing? Um, it, it increases health here, but we had no shot of dying. I forgot there's only one live. So I could have potentially carried that over to the next loadout, or the next round, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Alright, so now uh, we have a we take a guaranteed one here from him. Um, but he uses his item. Well, he's going to use handcuffs here. See, that's the better play right there. But I think it's arbitrary as to which one he used there. Um, because magnifying glass gives him a guaranteed one. Handcuffs give him a guaranteed one. Um, but I would opt to use handcuffs over magnifying glass 
um, if I were playing. So he made the smart decision, but I think if I'm understanding this correctly, I think that's arbitrary as to which one he's going to use because they're both the same expected value there, which is one damage against me. All right, I got smokes, I got magnifying glass, I got handcuffs, I got magnifying glass. Not feeling bad about using those smokes now, and that is a guaranteed win for us. Should I choose to accept it, uh, which I will do using handcuffs. And he's got three magnifying glasses and booze. What's funny is I'm not as concerned about magnifying glasses anymore, given um, given uh, that he's already smart anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot the dealer, kill him, and then we move on, baby. We made it to the million. I could keep against the smart dealer, but we keep going on, man. We are gamblers. All right, one million against the smart dealer, man. Go again, baby. Let's try to get to... Uh, what if I beat my old record using... Um, against the smart dealer? That would be fucking great. All right, I got another magnifying glass. I've got booze. All right. And that is two health. Oof. Don't like that. All right, but I like that. We get to the next loadout guaranteed. Well, we don't get it guaranteed here. Actually, we do. We do if I use... Magnifying glass first. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm going to use magnifying glass first. If we see a live one, we have to... All right, so we're going to shoot ourselves here. It is now two and one. Okay, two and one. And I'm going to opt to eject here. And we hit... A live one. All right, so we have a guaranteed one. He doesn't get a turn, and then we go to the next loadout here. All right, so it's a blank. We're gonna go ahead and shoot ourselves, take our guaranteed one, and then uh, move on to the next loadout with him at one and with us with a magnifying glass. So I'm feeling pretty decent about that. Not to worst. Zabumafu. All right, he goes to one, and then the uh, next loadout starts here, buddy. All right, we've got. Smokes, we've got handsaw, not the most useful items in this scenario. And that is four and four skin. All right. Um, here, I'm just going to look for the win using magnifying glass. Go from there. Otherwise, you probably die. All right. So that is uh, not the greatest. That's not what I wanted to see. But we have a four out of seven shot of just killing him here. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Four out of seven chance of killing him, and we do. Thank God. Otherwise, we probably would have died there. In fact, it was guaranteed that we would die there because he could chew through all the blanks using magnifying glasses because he doesn't have bugs, unlike the normal dealer. All right, we move on to round two there. Round two. All righty, all righty. What have we got? We have got booze. We've got booze. We've got handsaw. We've got handcuffs. All right. It is now four health, and that is two and two there. All right, two and two. What do I want to do? Huh. Two and two, I could eject twice and then guarantee get to the next loadout without him getting a turn. I think I'm going to opt to do that. We could potentially get two on him here as well. All right, so that is uh, one and two now. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just eject another one. Going to the next loadout is always going to be beneficial for us. All right, so the next two are blanks, so we just shoot dealer, let him go, and we go to the next loadout. We get more items here. He gets more items as well, so that wasn't particularly great for us. I was hoping to get a guaranteed one on him, but uh, sometimes the first two are just lives, man. All right, what do we got here? We have got. Handsaw, we've got handsaw, we've got booze. Okay. What is the lineup going to be? That's two and three right there. Two and three. Okay, okay. Now I think here, because we have three handsaws, I'm just going to handsaw and shoot, take a 40% chance of hitting for two here, and we'll go from there. All right. Shoot the dealer, and we miss. All right, it's now two and two. Let's see what he wants to do. He is going to... Well, we'll see what he does. He's gonna drink booze here. Eject one. It is now uh, one and two. He's gonna use a handsaw here. Let's see. I, let's see if he should. Yeah, he's gonna search for the guaranteed two here. That's smart. All right. I mean, it is. Yeah, it is smart. 
that's the correct thing to do because he might not get another turn. So he's just playing to maximize the round here. He's going to do it again. So we will go down to two, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, all good, all good. We get to go first on the next loadout. All right, so we take two here, and then we go to the next loadout. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? All right, so the next one's blank. I'll just shoot dealer and move on to the next loadout here. Kablooey. And what are we getting? We've got booze. And that is it. All right. Four health. That is one and two there. One and two. So I can get to the next loadout without taking any damage if I drink booze here. And if I hit a blank, I get a guaranteed at least... Well, I can get guaranteed two on him. But it's not the blank. It is the live one. All right. So let's go to the next one, man. All right. Pack it up. Move on to the next one. So that was unfortunate, but... Not much I could do about that. I think that was still the right play there. Otherwise, we were very likely to just take another two there and die. So, let me see what we get now. We got Smokes. Puts us out of just immediate death range, potentially. That is two and three right there. Alright, so I will Smoke here. Two and three. Now i got to think about this. I think I'm going to eject one. And we're going to hope to hit at least one live one between this and Handcuffs. All right, so now I'm going to handcuff him, and I'm going to go for the 50-50 chance of dealing two here and see what happens and go from there. Let's see if we can deal two. We do not. All right, so that's two and one remaining now. So he's going to get a guaranteed two back on us. Now here's the thing. If the next one is a blank, we automatically die. But if the next one's a live one and we shoot ourselves, we automatically die. So my best bet is to take the two-thirds shot that the next one is live and try to hit him for two here, and then in which case we will take a guaranteed two back, but uh, nothing I can really do about that. Excellent. Alright, so now we're taking a guaranteed two back. He's going to handcuff us, saw it off, shoot at us twice, I'm assuming, and he's going to smoke back up to three, but uh, there wasn't really much I could do about that. Alright, so he's going to smoke back up to three, get the guaranteed two on us. He uses three items, though, and he's just got booze remaining, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. I'm going to hope that the next one is the blank, so that he has to use the other handsaw here, obviously. But uh, if it's not, so be it. So be it. Not feeling too great about this position. All right. So now he knows that the next one is a blank, and so he uh, doesn't have to use the other handsaw. He's just going to shoot either himself or us. It doesn't matter. We move on to the next loadout. Or he is at three, he is at, or we are at one, and he's got two items on us. So that is a little unfortunate, but uh, what can you do, man? What can you do? He's the smart AI. What do you expect from me? All right. What have we got here? What have we got here? All right, we've got magnifying glass. We've got handcuffs. Okay, not feeling too good about that. Yeah, I think we are pretty much guaranteed dead here. Um, I, my best bet is to handcuff and just search for live ones. That's all I can really do here. But I think he might have a guaranteed win on us here. All right, so that's a live one. So now it's going to be two and three, and then we just shoot again. All right, so it goes down to two. And I'm going to hope the next one's a live one and that he doesn't find the live shell. That is all I'm hoping here. All right, live one, live one. Blank. All right. So now it's two and two. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed dead here. He's going to eject one. Yeah, he ejects a blank. And now this is a guaranteed win. He's sawing it off just for the style points of dealing two extra damage to us. But hey, I'm, uh, I'm happy to have made it to a million against the smart AI dealer. I'm feeling pretty good about that. But uh, this was a lot of fun. So thank you to... Um, uh, I think it's ITR, right? ITR, I just want to make sure I get that right. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, ITR. Uh, go check out his channel. Show him some love. Thank him for the mod. Play it yourself. As I said, I am not taking responsibility if there are viruses in the shit. Use a VM to be careful. Okay, that is my recommendation. But, play the mod out. Check it out. Try to beat the dealer. Try to beat my high score of a million. Of course, I didn't keep it, so it's technically a zero. For the score but uh, that was a lot of fun that we learned something about the game there um 
And uh, my feedback to ITR, if you were going to further improve the AI, it would be to have some sort of item ranking, right? So right now the dealer, as far as I can tell, if I'm understanding it correctly, is that he doesn't know that the next round exists. He is just trying to maximize the current round. So item usage order doesn't really, I mean like prioritization of item usage doesn't fucking matter, right? A magnifying glass is a, the same as handcuffs in a one live, one blank scenario. But I, as somebody who's played the game, knows that handcuffs on average are worse than magnifying glasses, okay? I don't know if you would want to just program that, as a, program that in as a heuristic, where if it's a toss up, you have some kind of priority that you manually code in, or if you'd want to try to simulate further rounds after this one, like what you could do is you could keep your same algorithm and then after that, maybe do some kind of light Monte Carlo to see what the next round may be and simulate it and try to go from there. Um, if not, I mean, the, the dealer is pretty fucking good as is. Um, so that would be one point of feedback. Another point of feedback would be, um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, so it's item prioritization. It's, um, no, I can't remember what the other one was. I think there was one other point of feedback. You can watch it back and uh, try to look at it. But I think that's the main thing I saw. Um, uh, the other thing is, I don't know if, you know, he might use items, prefer to use items, even if it doesn't really help him much from round to round. I mean, I don't know. There's some improvements you could make there. But overall, very impressed, very impressed. I think the, AI, uh, the new AI here is uh, pretty damn hard. If, um, if I were the dev, Mike... Clue Blenka or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, I would look into, uh, you know, hitting this guy up, seeing if you could implement this as like a hard mode or something for endless mode in the actual game. Because uh, it was pretty slick, worked pretty well, was performant, and uh, did pretty well against me. But I think I, I, I'm pretty proud of that million dollars right there. Anyway, link to the description, check out that dude's channel, ITR. Uh, you can find instructions on how to install his mod and you can play it yourself. Try to beat my high score, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.